Welcome back to the Dazwa Beats channel. Today what we're doing, we're using an arranger. This is how to arrange a beat. After you finish making the beat, you're gonna arrange the beat. So this beat right here is the video that I last dropped. All right, I'm gonna leave it right up here. So if you wanna click it, go ahead and watch the making of this beat right here. All right, so let's go, let's do the arranger. So what we're gonna do, right? If you're here, I normally put my arranger right here. You can separate yours however you want it. You can change your side however you want it, right? But mine's is right here. I leave mine's right here. So let's click on that. Now we have eight bars, right? So this eight bar right here is gonna be our intro. So we need eight for intro, eight for, for um, might do 16 for hook, or let's do eight for hook, and then 16. It's going to be like a quick beat, all right? So we're going to do eight for intro, eight for a hook, and then 16 for a verse, all right? So let's go. What you want to do, since we have eight bars, we want to double that. Double that in length. All you do now, we have 16. You hit the edit and you hit double in length. Now you should have 32. There you go, right? So, what you want to do is set up your, your tags, which is your intro, your hook, and then your verse. All right, so how to do that? right here where it says the number all right let's pitch the zoom in what you want to do is get eight bar right here you want to click on that but to make it see i can click and it don't go right on the bar what you want to do is go to your time correction right here right if you're using the mpc key 37 your time correction is here or you can get it from here and go into right here your time correction up there if you use it other than the key 37 but let's go to time control because we have the button right there let's put it on bar that way we can easily select like the eight bar see easily select it before it was just going into the middle and stuff like that we don't want that so we just hit bar now we go to the eight right bar eight is going to start our hook we know this is our intro at the end. So let's go right here. Right? See the time? Hit locator. Mine's, I don't know why mine's come filled in. So all you do is just, if yours is filled in, just hit the X to clear it out. That's it, right? Now let's, let me show you what I'm talking about. One, your intro start here. My hook is going to start here. And then my verse is going to start here. All right. That's all we need for now. Because then after we do that, we're going to copy from the hook and the verse to create another for another rapper. All right. So we are creating right now the intro, the hook, and the first rapper to rap on the beat. Now let's go. So what you want to do, like I said, you come to your eight. Go here. Hit set. That right there is going to be the hook. All right. When you go back, you see it say hook right there. All right. Now we know that's eight bars. You can tell this line, this line, eight bars. But we're in double time, so it's actually four bars. But we're going to talk the numbers that's here. All right. Come here. It's 16. That's another eight bar. You go back in here, hit set, because that's where our playhead is at. Once you hit set, that's going to be our verse. All right. So the reason why I didn't put intro, the reason why I didn't put intro at the beginning is because they only give us six of these to use. I already know the beginning is going to be my intro, so I don't want to waste a marker on the intro because we already know that's the intro. We need our hook and our verse. We need our hook two and our verse two. Then we need our hook 
three and then like an outro or something. So you see how your space can get filled up. So that's why I don't put the intro there. So we can use it without the intro because we know the intro is our start. All right. So once you go back here, now look, you have your intro over here, your hook, your verse, right? What you can do now is hold shift. Since we named them, here they go, just the two we named. So we can go to the hook and we can go to the verse. We go to the hook, we can go to the verse. So let's work on the intro, right? Let's work on the intro, which we'll go to hook to get closer and just move this over there. If I would have named the intro, all I would have had to do was hit that in the intro. But like I said, I don't want to waste that space for intro because we know where the intro is. Now, what we need to do is take out what we don't need. So for here, this sound right here, we're going to hit edit, erase from bar one to bar nine, do it. See, it's gone. Here, I'm going to erase that too, the whole thing from bar one to bar nine. Hit edit, erase, do it. Our drums from one to nine, edit, erase from one to nine, do it. Let's listen. All right, so it's just going to loop the intro, but let's take this out. We don't want this in here. Let's do edit, erase, do it, edit, erase, do it. Listen. All right, so that's what we want. Then we're going to come here now so it can work its way into the hook. Now let's listen. So now we want everything in the hook, but we want to work on the, um, the verse now. So we're working on the verse. Let's say we don't want the hi-hats in the verse. Go to the drum. This is our hi-hat. We don't want that in there. What you want to do, since everything is on one, one uh, drum program, normally people would separate them, but I just leave them like that. And all I have to do is just go here, figure out where my sound that I want to erase, the sound that I want to erase, I will select it right here, right? You'll know that it's pad four. What you do is go to edit, erase, and hit pad four. See it right there? Pad four is going to get deleted. Let's do it. Everything is there except for the hi-hats now. Listen. All right, so now for the first half of the hook, I don't want certain sounds. So I'll put it to half. Remember, this is the whole hook, but I'm going to take it and put it on half of the hook and just take out this sound right here. I'm going to hit edit, erase, do it. Let's take this sound out too, edit. Erase, do it. All right, now let's go back to the second half. And what we're going to do, we're going to take out this right here. Edit, erase, do it. Only thing you got to remember, just make sure whatever you want to take out is highlighted. Anything you want to take out is highlighted. All right. Just make sure of that. And if you take out the wrong thing, all you got to do is just hit undo. 
let's take them the top one out so we'll select that edit erase do it So now that was for the first rapper, the hook and the verse for the first rapper, right? Now what you want to do to create the create for the second rapper is you hit, make sure you're selecting from the hook to the end, right? So what you want to do is you'll go here to edit, copy bars from 9 to 32. Let's show you. From 9 from nine, so you say nine, to the end, which is 32. So you're going to edit, copy bar, from nine to 32. Now, remember, we have one wrapper. If you want three wrappers, all you have to do is change this to two. Then you'll have your three, because we already have the one. Then you add two more right there, which will give you three wrappers. One, we only want two wrappers, so we just add a one. Because we already have one. We already created the first one. Now we want to create the second one. Copy the first one to make it two. All right? If it was three wrappers, then you will copy one bar two times, which will give you three. So let's leave it on one. And then let's hit replace. Now you can see right here, 32, where we've right there at 32, that's where the second hook is going to come in. So you'll come here, set, make it hook. Let's call it hook two. Do it. Okay. And then, you know, your verse, your second verse will start right there. So edit, nope, right there, verse two do it all right so now when we go back to close this when we go back you see you have your intro over here your hook verse hook to verse two and so on and so on if you want another wrapper you'll take that and add another wrapper you'll take it from let's say um let's do right here so you can see it right here verse two and then all you would do is Copy hook two and verse two and make for another wrapper. But we're not going to do that. We're going to stop right there, right? We only want two wrappers. But the song is ending at the, at the end of the verse. We don't want that. We want to copy the hook to finish off the song, right? So we're going to select just the hook, which we will shift, hook two. We're going to copy hook two, right? What you want to do? As you go here, edit, copy bar from 33 to 40, right? And after the last bar, which the last bar is 56, one copy of it, replace. Now, our hook, final hook, which we're going to call it the outro, which we're going to call it out. So let's put the playhead here, hit that. Set out. See, we only have one more left. If I had to put a bridge or if I had to put another hook or something like that, then we would have ran out of space. That's why I don't put the intro there. Now you can see why I don't put intro at my top. All right. Now you see out is right there. Now you can go back to hook which is the beginning, hook one, and the intro is right there. That's how I get to my intro. I'll go to the first hook and just move the playhead over, and we are intro. That's how I do my intro, so I can save space. All right, just remember that. The out, and that's it. But what I like to do is just add an extra bar or two, add two. And then what happened, this is what happened.
before we play the whole beat, let's say at the end of this bar right here, at the end of the verse, we want everything to drop out. It'll come right there. Right there, we want everything to drop out. So nothing is there. Let's go to two, edit, erase, do it. Let's go here, edit, erase, do it, edit, erase, do it, and go through every one of them and just hit edit, erase, do it, edit, erase, do it. It should have a button where you can select all of them and just do one function at a time. Let's take out this, edit, erase, do it. Now let's listen. All right, and then it goes into the outro. All right, so that's it man that's how you do your arrangement if i wasn't talking to y'all it would have went real fast right if i wasn't explaining it i would have did it real fast in less than in less than five minutes probably about three minutes to be exact three to five minutes to just do that whole arrangement all right so let's go let's get it i'm gonna play the beat let's go mm -hmm.